So good morning everybody. Um, we're here to let you know about a fabulous new commitment from Vodafone who are the Strikers principal sponsors. And as many of you know, know may know, uh, new helmet regulations from the ICC are coming in for the 2019 season. And that means for, um, for those reasons, that sa for safety reasons, that some of the helmets used previously won't make the grade. So Vodafone has decided to step in in a very big way and donate 2,500 helmets uh, worth $150,000 to uh, community clubs in South Australia. The helmets will go to under 10 and under 12 teams and in country areas um, under 14 teams will also be eligible and of course they'll also go to Strikers Girls League teams. And that is a really a terrific commitment from a sponsor who is making an amazing difference to cricket in South Australia. As well as that, Vodafone are also giving away 450 helmets uh, to the first, sorry, helmets to the first 450 people um, to customers who sign up for the $60 plan with Vodafone, which is another great way to get the helmets into clubs. And I must also mention our helmet manufacturer, Missouri, who have played a big part in this initiative. So the helmets are going to be branded with Saka, um, Saka Strikers and Vodafone, and they look amazing, but of course they're also safe, which is the main thing. 2,500 new junior helmets worth $150,000 to cricket clubs across South Australia. So on behalf of SACA and the Strikers, we'd really like to thank Vodafone for this initiative. So how many clubs do you think this will impact or have an advantage of? Well, all clubs across South Australia, really. I'm not sure of how many teams, how many clubs, hundreds of clubs basically across South Australia will now have um, compliant helmets. This, uh, this, we were warned about this from the ICC last year, so SACA this year, uh, last year let clubs know that this was happening and then this year, um, thanks to Vodafone, we've been able to put some helmets now into clubs so that they're ready for the 2019 season. How important is this, Bronnie, for parents who, you know, to alleviate a bit of the cost of kids starting a new sport? Well, it's everything to parents, to the, you know, to the poor old parent who has to fork out for new gear. Something like this is a, is a game changer. You know, this, something like this allows kids to keep on playing cricket. It takes away any barriers to being able to participate in cricket. Oh, so you're a fan of this initiative? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's a, um, it's a huge impact Vodafone are having on all these clubs. and. Um, like Bronny, Bronny mentioned, if it, you know, if it gets a couple of kids playing cricket or a couple of girls coming in and playing cricket, um, we know how important safety is now and to have compliant helmets around you know, South Australia is a, it's a great initiative. You wear a couple of different helmets during the innings, do you get hit on the head too often? Um, I haven't too often, but um, you know, the Missouri is what we use, it's, um, obviously it's, it's compliant, it's, it's the best helmet out on the market and um, for Vodafone to be able to pump it out into the um, South Australian communities, it's, it's a great thing. And Alex, just I guess the sponsors, it's really easy for them to get caught up in like the glitz and glamour of sponsoring an elite program. How important is it for them to be able to put something back into that grassroots community? Oh, absolutely. Um, we've seen with Vodafone as well with the strikers last year how much they put into to our cricket and, and to be able to go to, to grassroots level and um, you know help out junior cricketers, girl, girl cricketers. Um, it's you know it's an unbelievable um, initiative from them. What's it like being home? Yeah, it's great. Um, there's obviously a really good buzz around with the test match here and uh, we head off to Sydney on Wednesday to play our um, last shield game before Christmas and obviously would like to get a win on the board going into the break. Is it hard for you to kind of uh, set your mind to white ball cricket, red ball cricket, jump from one to the other? Yeah, it's, it's an interesting time. Obviously there's T20 cricket, one day cricket and like you said, red ball cricket and um, I guess now it's, it's the way it's going to be if you, know, if you want to play all formats and um, you know, jump straight into a red ball and, and adapt to that and um, then there's some T20 stuff coming up as well. So you, know, you have to be really adaptable now and as we've seen Aaron Finch is, is you know, just captain the T20 squad now, he's hopefully opening the batting for Australia. It's, um, it's part of our job and something that we love doing, so yeah, it's no issue. How much did you enjoy the T20s and the one days? It was, uh, it was a great experience, obviously, the Indian fans coming out in, in some of those stadiums and making um, you know, all the noise, and it was, it was, that was a really good experience. And it would have been nice to take that series. We, we drew the series, which um, you know, there was a, an opportunity to win that series in Sydney. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. And then for the, the one days against South Africa, you know, personally, it was, a, it was great to come up against those guys and Rabada and Stain and um, Ningiti and 
play some really tough cricket and you know I think there's some really good signs that have come out of the last probably two months in, in Australian cricket and um, leading into the test summer it's you know it's really exciting times for us. And what was it like being vice captain of those squads? Was that an interesting experience or was it a fun experience? Yeah it was a great experience um, like I said it's there's some new faces in that squad now and um, I guess we're all trying to perform and um, I guess you know get our spots set and going into the World Cup we really want to um, quite a, a set batting lineup. Um, but no it was a really good experience for me to, to work under Finchie again and JL and um, you know get some international cricket under my belt and like I said there's some there's some white ball cricket coming up after Christmas and um, you know leading into the World Cup it's crucial that we we have a, a really good summer. How hard is it for you to focus and prioritise white ball versus red ball cricket? Are you conscious about not being too just white ball focused? Um, I think now, you know, if you're making runs in any format, it's going to count. And I guess for me, I've got one more Shield game and then um, hopefully some one day stuff for Australia again after the after Christmas So and the Big Bash as well. So, um, yeah, it's a tough one to juggle. And uh, like I said, I think if you're making runs at, in one day cricket, Big Bash um, or even Shield cricket, it's, it's going to count towards, I guess, Test cricket now. I, it, it sort of has to, I guess, with, with so much cricket on in the summer, it's, it's hard to juggle them all. And will you be available for much of the strikers this year? Yeah, I think so. I think um, uh, there's six games before the first ODI against India, and then I think there's a few more, and then available for the Big Bash um, before an Indian tour. So, um, yeah, it looks like there's there's a lot of Big Bash on the calendar for me, which is very exciting. Nice. And uh, the Shield, how important is it to uh, get a win before the Christmas break? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a tough start for us. We've obviously had a few draws, um, and, we, and we just lost, lost in Tasmania. Um, so, you know, for, for, for us, we're close. Um, we've had some injuries now. Frankie Worrell's back bowling really well. Ferguson's just made 100. So we've got some guys starting to hit their straps. Um, so, yeah, going to Sydney, it's a, it's a crucial game for us. And it's so close, again, um, with a few non-results this year, that if we have a really good uh, next few games, and especially after Christmas, then um, you never know. You're always in the hunt if you can go, you know, um, three or four wins in a row. So it's a, it's a, it's a big game still, absolutely. And Harry Nielsen, you feeling threatened? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's great to see Harry. Um, he's working so hard off the field and hopefully I'm, I'm not there after Christmas to Shield Cricket and he can have that spot back. But no, nah, it's fantastic to see Harry do so well.